chat. Oh, we want to die roll again. All right, all right, all right. Welcome everybody to round seven of Eternal Weekend, Library of Alexandria. We're playing PO. It's round seven. We're doing great. We're having a good time. Let's try again. Not the best hand, but it's certainly certainly playable, I think. Thanks, Lynn. A good draw off of this probe would be Force of Will or Non-Opal Moxin. Non-Opal Moxin lets me play a Narsa on turn two. Um, starts accelerating us towards a paradoxical outcome. I guess Lotus is a really good draw off of a probe. Let me go Narset with Flusterstorm back up. I ended up with like three and a half hours of sleep later, so not too bad. Doing okay. I'm feeling pretty good right now. We do have a lot of uh, tournament left to play, though. Opponent kept a six-card hand. Let's see what we're looking at. What are we working with? Opponent is on Swords to Plowshares, Ancestral Recall. Okay. So, how about a Lotus? I probably should have played a fetch land instead of a tundra. I guess we'll take this Yogwell for future use. I really wish I had that. Maybe what we want to do is take this brainstorm and put away like repeal opal. We could also take this pearl and go yog will later when we have one more thing. Pearl also gets us closer to this PO. Like I think this brainstorm will get us closer to the PO as well, but maybe we just want to take pearl. We want to just take Pearl. I could be wrong here, though. I do want to play this Opal before they play something like a Lavinia. So I am going to play Opal out. And if we want, we can like repeal something at the end of their next turn. Um, try to move us towards a PO. Surprised they didn't cast Ancestral to draw a card. It would be a little unfortunate if they drew Pyroblast. Huh. I think I should cycle with my repeal and see if I can't draw a Force of Will. This was a really good draw for them. At least they're using really nice art. I would rather just force this. That's kind of interesting. So I think I want to do this before they activate so they can't find Force of Will for it. They could find Lotus, I guess, or Pearl. Hmm. I think they're unlikely to, well, they probably would take Lotus or Pearl if they found it off that. 
I'm trying to figure out if I want to play this now in response. This is a really good draw. Unfortunately, they do have the swords to answer it, but at the very least, we can kill their next draw with Darsa. I think I'm going to do it now. I don't know. We need to. They put. They hit Black Lotus. I shouldn't have said anything. Now they can go Lotus Swords if they want. Hmm. Did I make a mistake? I mean, if they took Black Lotus anyways, it wouldn't have mattered. Hmm. They are just going to swords it. Can't protect it. Okay, that's not ideal for me. Opponent has three kind of not great cards, though, so... I don't know what my plan here is, though. This seems bad for me because they can just find a pyroblast off of this Narsa and then I'm like dead, right? Man, their Narset draw was really good. Their Narset draw was really good. I wasn't able to put together something in time. This is certainly the point in the game where I wish I was playing Bryant's list and had P.O.'s in my deck. I had my Snapcaster, which is like my answer, but they just had an active sword supply shares. At least they, they hit negation, so that's okay. Um, that's going to kill my Narset. That's going to kill my Narset. I want to P.O. back my Narset, but they're going to, I guess they can't negate it. Okay, so I'm going to P.O. back my Narset. No, then they're negated on the way back down. So maybe I'm supposed to P.O. back my Narset. No, then they just Narset. Then they just cast Ancestral. So that doesn't work. I guess I'm just going to peel back my pearl at the end of turn here. Narset's really bad for my deck to try to beat. Yeah, but if I pick up my Narset, they just cast Ancestral Recall. That doesn't really work. I have a repeal and a lotus, so I could do a I could do like a repeal play here. Maybe I'm not supposed to use this PO and I'm supposed to go for a repeal line. I just don't think I have enough mana to PO after. I guess I can still do the PO line because I have Yogwell. So maybe there's a way I can get through here. I guess I can beat negation with Flusterstorm. Oh, uh, that's true. I should guess. I guess I should pick up Opal too in case we draw Mentor. That's a fair point. That's probably just a misplay. Okay, so I don't know how far this gets me, but we're just gonna try because I think this game gets out of hand pretty quickly. Maybe I'm supposed to repeal uh, Dreadhorde, but then I can't draw any cards on my whole graveyard is garbage. Almost. We're getting there. All right, so... Black Lotus, Repeal Narsa. Probe gives us two new looks. I guess it's better than doing nothing. I 
think I'd like to have the black source. No, no, I have because I have a fetchable white source. Obviously, this goes really poorly if I can't do anything on the rebound, but I don't really. I mean, Academy's a great draw for sure. Lavinia. Hmm. Academy. Uh, Mana Crypt. Force isn't bad. This is good. Oh, but then I can't play. Huh. So if I want to force Narset, unfortunately, I lose my Narset. And they get to Ancestral. Whereas if I play my Lavinia, unfortunately, they just get to Narset and find any of the best spell in the top four cards. Well, they can't flashback Ancestral because Lavinia stops Dreadhorde Arcanist's flashback. So I, I can only stop one thing. I can either stop the Narset or I can stop... No, I guess you're right. That doesn't work. I can't stop them. I have to play the Lavinia here. I just have to let the Narset and hope the Narset doesn't find a Pyroblast. If I stop the Narset, then they just they just attack my Narset and and then they unlock their Ancestral. They can't Ancestral twice at once, but they can Ancestral twice later. Yeah, this is really bad, unfortunately. Oh, they're going to draw one card off Ancestral now? Sure. I could force that, technically, right? No, I can't force that, because this is from my hand. Sorry. can't force that. So, this is fun. I, I just, I have to hope their Narset whiffs and doesn't find a Pyroblast. Is kind of the bottom line. Right. Lavinia blocks, and it also turns off Ancestral or Swords. But if their Narset finds a Pyroblast, uh, they Pyroblast the the... Lavinia, and they, they attack and kill my Narset. And then on the turn after, I'd lose. I don't have anything I can do about it, unfortunately. I just don't have a... This, if this needed to be a blue card... If this was a blue card, we actually are in great shape. But it's just not a blue card. I mean, it was a risky line to repeal opponent's Narset. It's always going to be risky. I'm walk? They didn't hit a land, though. That's really good for me. Okay, I have a chance. What can I draw? Tinker, maybe? I'm actually short on casting both. Can't attack through because it's a 1-3. I don't have very many good draws for this this board state, unfortunately, just because I don't have Pyroblast in my deck. My deck is just not built to play around Narset very well. Oh, they drew Cruise, which they can't cast with Lavinia, so not bad. If they cast Time Walk, I'm going to force it. I think. It's also a mana problem. Second Dreadhorde. All right, now my Narset can die. 
but if my Narsa dies by them double attacking, I can attack their Narsa, which at least gives me options to win. Uh, I guess Treasure Cruise is also turned off by both of these cards, so that's pretty reasonable. I think Eliminate and Blood Chief's Thirst are fine answers. I'm just, like, not super hype on them. Huh. This is like my last interactive spell. Surprised they didn't put Time Walk back on top of their deck with Mystic Sanctuary. I feel like that would have been a good play. I think we can just go for an end of turn repeal on the Narsa and just hope for a PO, right? We don't want to repeal. I guess we could repeal my Narsa as well. Sure. Um, what does that get? Dig through time or something? Force of will? Fluster storm? I'm just letting this resolve. I don't know what this could get that would matter. This Lavinia is king right now. They might just... Like, unfortunately, killing this Narset doesn't unlock their crews because of Lavinia. If they attack with both, I could block and bounce. And, and then attack Narset. They got Brainstorm. I guess that makes sense. I really don't want them to resolve a Brainstorm, though. I'll probably force it. Okay, they're attacking my Narset. So do we save my Narset? Wait, they got a Brainstorm? The Brainstorm is dead if I have a Narset in play. Should I just save my Narset by bouncing a Dreadhorde and then countering the Dreadhorde on the way back down, attacking the Narset and winning? We could alternatively bounce my Narset. They get to cast Brainstorm, but we could just force it. And we still do the same play, but we have a Narset after it. I think I like bouncing my own Narsa the most. So obviously, they get to brainstorm, but we have force. We know that they have brainstorm crews and they can't cast forces because they're attacking it to kill it. Wait, why did they crack their... Oh, they're going to... Oh, they're going to put the Ancestral Recall on the top of their library. That's fine, if, as long as this counter resolves. Oh, they're going to go put the Swords to Plowshares on the top of their library. That's pretty good. So we should just let this Brainstorm happen then? The only problem would be if they draw... Okay, they're not doing it right now. It's pretty good. Lavinia doesn't stop Brainstorm. I guess I should have played Fetchland, then Narset, and then activated Narset. Because then I would have extra mana. Okay, it didn't end up mattering. So they'll brainstorm in response here. So the only way I get punished for letting this Brainstorm resolve is if one of their cards has Pyroblast. 
the way I get punished if the way I get punished if I counter is they untap and swords if I don't find a way to save my Lavinia. By swordsing my Lavinia, they're going to unlock their treasure cruise, which is blocked by Narset. I'm worried because if they brainstorm and find a pyroblast. I guess if they swords the plowshares my Lavinia, I have a second Lavinia. I don't know what the right play is, chat. We just have to dodge Pyroblast. All we have to do is dodge Pyroblast, I think. So I'm going to force pitching Lavinia. So as long as we dodge Pyroblast. I need this to die. This needs to die. Because I want to play around Flusterstorm as well. And I want to PO this turn. I want to play around Flusterstorm and I want to PO this turn. So I have to dodge Pyroblast. If they have us another thing, then we can PO. All right, this worked. I should have enough to both replay both. This might have been one of the best games of Magic I've played in a very long time.
I would I would reckon most players are not winning in this uh, game state. It's funny because I'm probably boarding out Lavinia, but Lavinia is easily the only reason we won this game. I'm going to probably board out Lavinia, but Lavinia was the only reason we won this game. Crazy. That might have that that might have been one of the best games of Magic I've probably ever played. So, okay, let's let's regroup here. Handball, Trap, Remora, Flusters, Balances, and Swords, Island, Opal, Low Tutors, typically Lavinia's, Urkel's, other Opal. Can we go back and look at my last Jeskai match? Minutes on the clock. Use all the two Wait, minutes. Should we intro? Should we? Our Mystic Remoras. Um, I kind of, I kind of dig that. Theo is like really hard I card. I left an to... island last time. Gain value from. I just got one of Pio and kept an island instead. I mean, Repeal is still going to be bouncing Lavinia and Dreadhorde Arcanist. Um, it's also just a blue spell. And I What's up, Aura? Just my cyborg guide, man. It's just my cyborg guide. All right, let's do it again. Who's got that uh clip at the beginning of this stream? How about a load it? Okay. Uh, we've got our 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 biggest fan, Campbell. We got some fast mana, Narsa. Yeah, this hand is not great, but I think it's certainly a reasonable hand against Jeskai. I sure hope they print a brown border Mox Opal. I would very much enjoy that, along with a brown border top. Thanks for the follows, everybody. Shattering Spring? Or is it Dreadhorde Arcanist? Looks like Shattering Spree on my mana vault. Fine. My hand doesn't really care about my opponent attacking my mana very much. 
why I like to change it up post board to play around it a little bit. That's a great draw, though. I'm not going to play Narsa. Well, if they fetch a red source here, actually, it's pretty good for me. Because it means they're not fetching a white source. So maybe I do just want to play Narsa. Hmm. Actually, I think Camball might be the play here. I'm going to go with Camball. See if Camball can get us another win versus Fair Blue. Did fetch red anyways. What is this then? Gush? Are they really like looking for a force? Pretty bad time to gush. Do you have a lightning bolt? No. Okay. Yo, Kane, if you could, if you just came here, we'll go back and watch this game one. It's so good. It's such a good one. It's a ten round event, so I still have a ways to go. Game one of this, the game one of this match was so good. Crazy, 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 crazy game. Let's see if they left in answers for Camball. Blue, red, Arcanist. Sprite Dragon. Don't want to owe this guy a favor. Camball is at its best when people forget about Camball. I think this weekend was a great, great opportunity to play Camball in PO. The number of Caracas are historically low. I mean, I think this Narset is going to get pyroblasted, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it, so. Resolves? They can't have anything, right? I just have to jam here, right? If they didn't counter Narset, they have nothing. I'm going to hold the Emerald to play around Spree. Or do I want to play around Lavinia? Play around Spree. I mean, I would give up. Look at this face. Does this look like the face of mercy? Does this person let look like they'll let you off? Sure. I accept. You best be paying your taxes. Hey, Unicorn, how's it going? Having a good uh, tournament weekend? I haven't checked up on you in a while. If they Pyroblast Narset, I just don't do anything, right? This has got to be uh, Dig Through Time. Which I don't care about. It resolves. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's pretty hard for, like, just guy to keep in uh, Swords or Lightning Bolt against me. It's not a very good cards. But they might keep in one or two. Unfortunately, a mere loss in the finals. I think if they pyroblast, I let it go.
Campbell has had a great tournament, a great day. Campbell has had a great weekend, basically. Red Horde. I can go the distance. I want to snap Ancestral if my Tinker gets counter on the stack. I want to, if they have Pyroblast, I want to be able to snap Ancestral. I guess I could technically snap Tinker, you're right. They have Fluster. Yeah. Can I Tinker? Cool. I think I'm just gonna leave that on top. That's game. Yeah, I had really bad breakers yesterday. Camball is a god. Camball is so good. Let's go. Campball's good because people take out their spot removal, Oz. So once people take out their spot removal, you bring Campball back in. No, we've lost uh, one or two matches, one or two games this tournament. Not very many, though. <laughs> 